that's good. Well, I'm happy for them because they hadn't beat them in a while. You know, I told them, I said, you let Wisconsin off last week. Let's not let these guys off. But you can see that, you know, they, 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 they believe in one another and they kept fighting. Talk about trust. You punted there on fourth and one. I assume you trusted your defense to get this done. Well, guys, they, we're going we're gonna to give them all their black shirts back and let somebody else see who's going to have to deal with it. But we're going to give them all their black shirts back. But, yeah, I trusted what they've been doing. They've been playing lights out for the last couple of weeks. So we trust that we can put them back on the field and they was going to get a stop. So they get the black shirts back tonight or tomorrow? Or? Well, I'll probably get them back tonight when they, um, when they get back. But it'll be in their lockers when they come in on Monday. No, no, I've been doing this long enough. I keep telling you, I'm from New Orleans. We don't, we don't panic, you know. And you know, we we just had to keep fighting. We had to keep throwing blows, and you know, we had to keep throwing blows. And, and if I show like I'm panicking, then they're gonna panic. So no, we was gonna keep fighting at the end. You didn't sense that from the kids either, though. No, no, because if, if Daddy don't panic, the kids don't panic. Trey, Trey broke the single season record too uh, with, with his Daddy. Well, Trey, we thought they was going to have trouble guarding Trey. And um, we just talked to Trey this morning about just use your speed. You know, don't tip throw through it. Just put speed on him and see if they can cover you. And Trey did a really good job of running by him and catching the football. Other questions? Vicky, what kind of, what, what kind of I'm a mommy. Okay. It's big, you know. They they're going out. They're going out a winner. They they won their last game, and um, it's 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 it was hard on them, because every loss, you know, they understood why we lost, and we said, hey, we got to play 60 minutes, a really good football, and we had to play, and we did it today. We had to play 60 last week. Guess what counts? We played 56, so we played 60 today, and that's how you that's how you need to finish in this conference. Oh, listen to me. You're right. I, I I forgot these fans. These fans are unbelievable, and I, I appreciate their support for me and the team. And um, they came out tonight tonight in numbers, and they were they were screaming, they were yelling, and I'm glad we was able to get that win for them. But you know, the fan base. We have the best fan base in America, and I think everybody knows that. What you, you had made a comment earlier in the week that you know you're going to enjoy tomorrow with your family. Like, do you have any sense of of what lies ahead for you? As a coach and then the rest of the staff. Hey, no, no. We, you know, we we control what we was able to control was to play this game and win this game. Now it's not on us. Right now, we just sit back and play the waiting game. But you know what? I've been through this before. I've been through it before, so I'm helping these coaches that haven't been through it. But we have a really good coaching staff, and they all they all going to land on their feet because they're really good football coaches. It happens in this profession. There is changes, changes that made in it, and they understand it. But I, I take my hat off to them because I told them today that I really respect them as men because they didn't quit. They stayed in the fight with the kids. Not one day did they say, hey, I don't want to do this. So you take your hat off from them. You got to understand, we had to hold this thing together for 11 weeks. Not five and not six, 11. And they did it. We didn't get the wins like we wanted, but they held it together. Hey, what, are you, what are you most proud of about the job that you did? Well, I think when, what I learned in, on this job is that I have I had to be a good person in front of being a good coach because that's the only way these kids and these coaches are going to believe in me if I was a good person and um, I think that happened and usually you know the Joseph boys we good we good people you know and that's why those kids these kids was able to follow us follow me. Well, like I said, you know, I picked, I picked Nebraska to come to Nebraska two times in my life, 1987 and 2021, you know, that I came back here. I could have went anywhere in the country when I came out of high school. I could have went anywhere in the country when I left LSU, but I chose to come back to Nebraska. It's a good feeling. I love Nebraska. I love the state. I love the people. I love everything what Nebraska stands about. And I think you can see today that, they, they you know, these kids are young. They're young in this conference, and they, and they believe now. So now you got to just build on it. Oh, very proud because I, I knew it was going to be a tough task. 
I knew it was going to be a tough task, you know, when you when you when you make a move like that early in the year, you know, you got to really capture the kids. So we had to start right away. You remember, we changed the way we were practicing. We gave them off on Monday. We kept them in the building on Sunday so they can block out the noise. But they did a great job of doing that. So yeah, I'm proud of them. I'm proud of the kids and proud of the coaches. I don't think that's up to me. I think that's up to the next guy. You know, I'm good because I understand it. the next guy comes in, he deserves to pick his staff, and I'm good with it. Like I've been in, I've been over this thing over 25 plus years, and I got I got a pretty good resume. So somebody's gonna hire me. All, All right, thank you. Yes, I mean that's that's something that you that you you know being professional and being like I said, I'm a good person. I would do that. Thank you. I mean, we knew it was going to come to this point. We just played ball, so I ain't really mad. I'm just thankful to play. Real bad. Very, very bad. Had it on our mind the whole week that we were going to do it, and we went out there and did it. They can't guard me. That's all I seen. They can't guard me. Or they can't run with me. And that's what I did. did before the, the 87 yarder, did you guys talk? Hey, they got a freshman out there. We're gonna come I back. really didn't even know that was a freshman. No face, no case. Yeah. I just go out there and ball. Did you kind of know that one was coming to you either way? Yeah. We dialed it up. I said, just throw it as far as you can. You ain't going to out throw me. I mean, it feel good. We got the win. We got the job done. That's all we wanted all season. And we fought, and we never gave up. And you see the results when you fight and never give up. Trey, what's it mean to, to get the single-season record at the university? Did you know that was out there? Or... I mean, to be honest, I really didn't even know I broke it. I was just playing ball, trying to get a dub. What's Mickey meant just for you guys the last 11 weeks and to get him this win and win his last one here? He just always talks about finishing and just... Finish for the brother next next to you, and that's what we did. We fought for each other and never gave up. Trey, when you tweet out that you wake up pissed off, yeah, pissing you off. The, the opponents, yeah. like I don't like, I don't like West Coast and no Owl, and I just, I just woke up feeling pissed off. So that's that's what I did. And you see what happened when I wake up pissed off. Yeah, I was extra pissed off today though. Casey Thompson. I mean, I just want to put the hands on, you know what I'm saying? Cause he, but I, it feels good to get back with him and get back in the rhythm with him. Did you sense Iowa was pretty stunned when you guys jumped up 24 nothing? I just want to play ball. I still, I wanted to really blow him out and finish it off. I ain't want to play with him. 
But we got the dub done, the job done in the dub, so I'm happy. I don't know. I'm just going day by day. Casey right. Thompson. Yeah, uh, I think I said earlier this week, I knew they had a good front seven. The linebackers are good. The, their defensive line is real active. But I didn't feel like that they could uh, they could guard any of our receivers, and I, I definitely didn't think they could run with Trey. Um, and then that, obviously that showed when we go up quick in the first quarter. I mean, you have 150-plus passing yards in the first quarter. That's a pretty good sign. And, um, you know, our, our, our goal was to just take the top off of the defense today, and uh, we did a good job of that. We hit most of the shots that we took. So, um we, we executed the game plan pretty much. It was our game plan to, to just go after the – we knew that they, they had to cover in space, and that's what we were trying to do. Um, one of the starting corners was out, so they had to rotate some of the backups, and uh, we just tried to get Trey matched up with a lot of different DBs. Describe that moment uh, since it's 2014 since the Brassers won to go over to the Iowa sideline and take that trophy. What was that moment like for you guys? Um, winning feels good, and losing sucks, and um, it just felt good to win today, uh, no matter what's on the line. I didn't even know that they handed out a trophy until right before the game. I guess it's called like the hero something. I don't know. I'm I'm in from I'm from Oklahoma City. I didn't. I don't, I don't know anything about the Big Ten. So uh, I heard that they gave out a trophy for the Nebraska Wisconsin game, also for the Nebraska Iowa game. So it was big for us to get that trophy and take it from them. Um, and uh, I didn't know it had been that long since uh, we beat Iowa. But I'm happy to be a part of it, and it was definitely a good a good way to uh, to finish out the season and just finish strong and end on a high note. Um, and just show ourselves and show everybody what we can do when we play four quarters of football. So, you know, good win for the team and just happy to be a part of it. Have you ever had chemistry with a receiver like you had with Trey? Uh, yeah, Xavier Worthy, number eight at Texas. Um, we had really good chemistry last year, um, and uh, he had a lot of touchdowns, and um, he accounted for a lot of I think I had like 24 touchdowns last year five rushing, but uh, he had a lot of the touchdowns last year for sure, and one of his longest was a bubble that he took 75 yards, so um, it was really good to uh, get here with Trey this season. Uh, we started to build a chemistry in the off season. First time I saw him in the uh, Hawks indoor facility, we started running routes, and I remember the first day we ran routes, we had about three or four incompletions, uh, our first time throwing together, and every time after that, we said we're going to have no incompletions, so uh, just working with him this off season and uh you know, I'm, I, he's gonna be he's gonna be a good player, and I'm I'm really uh, happy for Trey and, and happy for the way he uh, played this season. After the Ramirez fumble, the stadium's kind of going crazy. Yeah. I mean, what, what were you hearing from guys on the sideline? And it had to be a little tough for you because you're trying to run the clock, and so the throwing game was taking a little bit out of the equation. And what, what was that like for you? Yeah, I mean, I uh, I just try to execute whatever play is called, and. Um, he said, you know, coach uh, on the headset before that series said, we're going to go under center, uh, break the huddle at 12 seconds and snap it at three or one second. So that's what my job was. And I just told the running backs, you know, um, either put two hands on the football or just try to make sure you lock the elbow and secure it all the way through the ground. And, uh, you know, we, it's, it's a lesson learned. We move on from it. But, um, yeah, we made it way closer than it had to be. Uh, honestly, I think we could have thrown for four or five hundred yards. So I would have liked to just keep throwing the ball down the field. Um, you know, one of the last drives we got into a third and seventeen or third and sixteen, whatever it was, and um, do a do a post corner to Trey, and he picks up you know almost all the yards. And uh, you know, I was ready to go uh, under center and go QB sneak on it, but we decided to punt it. So um, you know, the fumble was uh, obviously unfortunate, but uh, we bounced back from it. Uh, that was a crazy fourth quarter. We made it way closer than it had to be, but we came out with the W, and that's all that matters. One or two more for Casey. Casey, do you think that this is like an experience like this for the guys who are back on this team? Is it something that they can build on? It's been such a struggle for Nebraska in the series and in close games in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think there's really a stigma of, 
Um, Nebraska doesn't know how to finish games and close games. I mean, if you look at this season, uh, you know, three of the wins came in the second half. Uh, and uh, we had to win the game in the fourth quarter. Uh, we went, we were tied with Indiana, ended up beating Indiana in the fourth quarter. Um, and uh, in the North Dakota game, we had to pull away in the fourth quarter, won that game. Uh, against Rutgers, we're down 13 at halftime. Come back and win that game uh, tonight against Iowa. Uh, we have the lead, right, comfortable lead, and they, they, they're getting closer, and things are, start, are starting to not go our way. You know, um, you know, we let them score, then they get a field goal, or then we fumble. Um, but at the end of the day, we, we still won the game in the fourth quarter. So um, however many years that it's been, uh, that this football team hasn't finished games in the full quarter, I think that we uh, we broke that streak and uh, we we know how to finish in the full quarter. Now that doesn't mean that we're always going to win games in the full quarter. Uh, sometimes the ball just rolls uh, the other way, but um, you know we did it tonight and uh, we've proven multiple times this year that we're capable of doing it. Um, and that's obviously with the interim head coach. And so uh, I know that this team is capable, and I, I'm really excited about uh, what's in store. Um, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. At this point, uh, you know, it's been a long season uh, for me physically. Uh, you know, the demands of playing quarterback at this position, at this level, here at the University of Nebraska, uh, it's a blessing. Uh, you know, but it's a curse sometimes because you have to deal with so much. Um, you know, at this point, I'm excited to just uh, rest my body. Um, I mean, I uh, played in nine full games, you know, missed two and a half games. I um, would have liked to play all of them, but... Um, at this point, I'm just excited to rest. Been playing through a lot of injuries this season. Um, I uh, actually uh, suffered a slap tear in my right labrum in week three or four, uh, right around the Oklahoma game. So, uh, got to make a decision um, the next few days about what I want to do with that. Um, and uh, you know, like I said, there's a lot to uh, consider in the equation: who's staying, who's coming back. You know, meet the new head coach. Um, there's a lot of things I have to do, but the first first thing I have to do is get healthy, and I have to make a decision about what I want to do uh, with my right shoulder. Um, like I said, you guys know I have an older, uh, older nerve damage in my right arm, kind of down into my pinky and an elbow contusion. Be excited to just rest and heal that. So, um, you know, this unfortunate uh, dealing with stuff on your throwing arm. Uh, last At this time last year, you know, I finished the season the last six weeks of the season at Texas. I played with the dislocated and torn uh, right thumb on my throwing hand so uh, just having these injuries on your on your right arm is not good and um, I don't know I just it's exhausting to get treatment and have to just try to fight through and push through practice and uh, come out here and walk throughs and warm ups and stuff like that so um, I'm glad we got the win tonight but I'm also excited that uh, the season's over with so I can rest my body and uh, a lot of these guys can rest their bodies up as well so that's my main focus right now is just my health um, catching up on some sleep um, um, be excited to uh, walk in a few weeks and get my master's degree. Uh, I think it's in Pinnacle Arena. That's where the graduation is. So uh, a lot of things coming up in the next few weeks. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll I'll meet the new head coach and uh, sit down. We have exit meetings on a team meeting on Monday. So kind of just see where everybody's head is at. And uh, I'll make a decision in uh, the next couple of weeks, and we'll go from there. Uh, it was just it's big time because I know how much he cares about this team. I know how much he loves Nebraska. Um, it's not easy to to uh, to take a job, you know, when you he's at LSU and he wins a national championship over there, and he's recruited and he's comfortable. And uh, he decides to leave and go come to the University of Nebraska and bring Trey Palmer. And uh, you know he's de he's dealt with a lot of adversity, and like I said, I've always respected Mickey Joseph, but I have more respect for him now because of uh, just how he battled through all of it, um, how he's continued to to lead this team, players and coaches, and um, I meet with him a lot throughout the week, and we meet with him uh, on a, as a as a leadership committee on the Unity Council, and uh, we're really happy for him. Uh, we're always chanting his name anytime we get a win, so uh, we want to see Mickey, Mickey uh, succeed, and uh, I think everyone can agree that we all want him here at the University of Nebraska. All right, thank you guys. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, it was awesome. 
made sure every Nebraska fan touched it. He's going to keep it. So. <laughs> Let every Nebraska fan touch it. Show up go through the good and bad and support us no matter what. And, uh, yeah, uh, it's for the state, man. It's for those guys. It's for us. It's for Nebraska. You said during the week you'd have no trouble getting up for this game because it was Iowa. Um, I mean, how, why did you guys want Iowa so bad? The uh, to spoil their Big Ten chances. And, uh, you know, it's just Iowa. For years, you know, these guys have acted like our big brother and like we're lesser to them. And uh, we were tired of it, tired of hearing that. So, you know, fans and players and people alike, uh, we were tired of, we were tired of it. Yeah, I mean, being I was nice, but. Uh, it was. It's. It's good to go out on a win. It's good to go out on a win. Uh, so as you're as you're going down that line of fans, how how'd you decide? I'm gonna you know give it to this guy or this guy. Like how was that? Just made it. Just made sure everybody in red touched it. Made sure everybody in red touched it. Um, yeah, they're <laughs> they're in en enemy territory with us too. So want to want to let them celebrate with us. Uh, just staying consistent, making sure you're doing your job every play. Um, you, you know, once that play is over, that play is over. You can't think about it too much. Obviously, we'd want some picks or I'd want to play or this play, you know, but uh, you play the next play, that's how you win the game. Uh, finally, finally put it together. Played, played some, played some pretty good defense. Um, feels pretty good to finish the game, especially against these guys. Prove everybody wrong that we can't. One more for Garrett, if there is. Well, what can you say about the statement by the black shirts in the first half? I remember when Iowa's first six positions, they come the ball four times and fumbled. You know, that big statement by the black shirts. Yeah. Uh, that's how we play Blacksburg football. So proud to be around those guys. Work work is harder, if not harder, than I am. And uh, you know, we love each other. And we play for each other. And, and uh, yeah, big statement. Garrett, what are your feelings about whatever happens in these next few days moving forward, getting to meet the next coach? I'm just gonna celebrate this one right now. Don't worry about that later. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. All right, thank you.